Hey guys, welcome back with another Red Bull. I should be sponsored. So today's video, we are gonna quickly try to replace the axle seals. I am wondering how hard this is gonna be, especially with not having the lift and it being just so much of a clearance. But I'm starting to think everything that's hard on this car goes with ease and everything that's easy becomes difficult. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully I don't make a mess or be stuck. Let's just get it started. All right, so we have the leak there. Now to find where it's coming from. Okay, so I have found it. It's right here on the driver's side axle. So it looks like this axle seal is going out. So this one's going all the way down here and dripping. So we did remove the bottom mold, which was a 19. I didn't remove the caliper yet because I felt like I can do it without it. Just definitely remove the two bolts that holds the coilover with the knuckle, which are two 19s as well from both sides, the nut and bolt. This is the 12, removed it so I can free out the brake line. And now it's kind of loose. Let's see if we can take out the axle. bucket for now and we got the axle out so also what in the meantime unbolted the speed sensor as well okay so we're under the car now in theory this should come out by popping this out with a pry bar I put mine with tape so I don't scratch anything as well as the bearing that we're about to take out So we removed it and this is how it looks now. You just gotta pop it off really hard and it will come out. As I think there's some like pin that's holding it. Alright, so we got the axle down. We have the pan with the, to catch the rest of the fluid. Let's put the light here. And let's see how the seal looks. Well, it's clearly it's leaking. Okay. So this is how it looks. I don't know I'm probably sure by the light, but so there was some damage on it. Definitely had to be this since there's some damage on it. It is there. And now it's just pretty much peeing right now. There's not much fluid in there, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing. So this is the new one. This is the part number. And let's compare the two. So this is how they look. I feel like they're completely different in a way. Yeah, this one looks bigger for some reason. So we made it back. This is the original part number. They look identical, perfect. 
and it took me a while to do some research to find it so now we got it next is to put it right in um as of now it stopped leaking and there isn't much I'm gonna go on angles. Let me see how I can do this. All right, it's all in. So, if you guys can see, now it's in, all even, all over. Let's just clean it up with some brake cleaner, and then we should be good. This is how the frame plug is. It's pretty stripped. And that's how it was. So I'm gonna replace it with a new one after this is done. Also, this came out of the axle seal. It was behind it. Uh, not sure if I need to put it back. It looks like a rubber band. Feels like a rubber band, but like a aluminum steel spring rubber band. It's weird. Uh, I'm gonna do research to see if this actually belongs there or this came out of the axle seal. Okay, so I think I found out where that goes. It actually goes inside and a little um, towards the back. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm also gonna close that up. I have a new, brand new, oops, brand new drain plug. Gasket. If you need a part number, this is the gasket. And then we have the drain plug. Okay, so we finished. It took a while, the GoPro died, but I was able to put the axle back in. That was honestly a pain to get this back in. I don't know about you guys. But the other springy o-ring, we was able to put it in. It did take a while. I definitely don't recommend doing it after the after the axle seal is put in is in. We can if you ever experienced that, I will, I would say if if it did came out when you're doing the axle ring, put that back in first. Uh, it goes around the middle. I should have showed you guys, but I thought I did, but GoPro was dead. I would try to put a photo here I'll just show you how it looks uh, but other than that everything's back in let's seal her up we got the new bolt I mean the new drain plug no more leaks we're looking good let's close up everything so this was the axle nut that was on the car pretty crazy and this is the correct axle nut so we have everything back together well slowly we're gonna put the other two bolts and we should be done Okay, so we finally finished everything. New seals on, everything's back together. All we need to do now is to pretty much refill the transmission with fluid, which I got from Subaru. Boom, some OEM fluid. So we're gonna fill that up. 
I think it takes about three quarts, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll do that research in a little bit. And I think I'm just gonna end it here. Um, I think we did quite enough. The next video, I'm gonna try to see if I can attempt to drive it. I'm gonna rebirth the system and go from there. I think I resolved that main oil leak. Now I have another one that I'm trying to pinpoint where it's at, but I'm not sure because the car's too high. I need to bring it down to take a bit uh, a better look at it. But thank you guys again for, for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.